really important to understand the big picture of the art market. And this goes for print reproductions, products, or originals. You must be able to evaluate the relevance or popularity of your work in relationship to the larger art market. Do you have a fan base for your work? Obviously, if you end up working with a gallery, your gallery prices your work or helps you price your work. But you want to familiarize yourself with what other artists are creating, um, whether it's selling, and you'll be better pre prepared to price your own work. So um, in the real estate market, a great analogy is the real estate market. So in the real estate market, home prices are based on what? How do real estate agents, what's around it? The comparables in the neighborhood. So you want to look for comparables in your neighborhood. And the way to find comparables is, again, to do research. So research, as Lisa said yesterday, is a really important part of your job. Um, you want to look for other artists who make similar work in similar genres, who have a similar level of experience or schooling as you, who um, have similar followings, and find out how much are they pricing their work for, and is it selling. So do your research. Um, you also. And don't take this the wrong way. You want to start low. And that doesn't mean you want to make your work cheap. You just want to start low as opposed to high. So in the range that you might come up with for a print or an original, um, start on the lower end. Because once you set a price, I think we talked about this yesterday as well, you, don't, you want to stay there. You never want to lower the price. You might want to raise the price eventually. And that's something that I cover a little bit more in my book about when, it's, when is the time to raise your prices? Usually when you're selling a lot of that thing. Um, you may want to just stick with it if you're selling a lot of that thing. But there may come a time when your work becomes worth more money and you want to raise the prices. Um, for the most part, you never want to lower them. You want to offer work at a variety of price points, too. Some people um, really want to be able to buy something of yours and they can't afford the big ticket items. So you want to make sure that you offer stuff at a variety of price points. Um, they may come back to purchase something more expensive later. Those folks who, who initially only bought a print may come back for original later if they love your work. Um, and also, conversely, this seems counterintuitive, but you always want to have more expensive options, just a few. And that's because some buyers are drawn to more expensive work because they're looking for pieces with prestige. Or you know they attach value based on the price sometimes. Um, you know of course all of this has to be within your comfort zone and what you feel is right for your work based on your research. Um, but I recommend do off you know to offer a lot of different price points.